hello students so now let us continue with the chapter jenny's amber bees this is our third video of the same chapter now what we have to do is we have to find out that uh, how jenny got those beads her grandfather kenneth got them years back when he was young lad young lad means young boy so when her grandfather was a young boy at that time he got these and it is years back they were talking about so he had got the beads from the wreck of a ship a ship has been wrecked and from that they, he has got the beads hmm? gas gas hawk which had sunk in the sea this is the name of the ship gas hawk which had sunk in the sea uh, waters near his highland home so he, as we already know that they were uh, living on highlands so just near that the ship was wrecked so he had gone looking for what he could save from the wreck he just went there he was also not very rich he was also poor so he went there just to see if you could get anything from that rag shape shape if you could get anything which is valuable which is useful so he went there there among the uh, slippery sea weeds he had accidentally stepped on this piece of amber so accidentally underline this line among the slippery sea weeds he had accidentally stepped on this piece of amber so while he was searching for something he could get from the ship he accidentally reached or stepped on this piece of amber it was a clear shining lump or and all the creatures had been embedded in it embedded it had they have been uh, stuck very firmly so how was that it was just like a lump it was a complete one single piece it was not like in beads at at that time so it was just a piece it was a lump and all the insects all the creatures they were inside it stuck firmly so kenneth had carved out the beads himself so how now from that lump he has carved the beads on his own himself he has carved the beads and had given them to his wife as a wedding gift and who is his wife jenny's grandmother so he gave so now we have come to know that jenny's grandfather he accidentally when he went to the sea accidentally he stepped on the piece of amber which was just like a lump and the insects were inside it and he himself carved carved out the beads from that lump and he gave those beads as a wedding gift to his wife to jenny's grandmother he had worked very carefully to save the embedded insect or weed in each piece whatever was there in that amber piece and piece of amber he tried to save that he try he tried so that all those insects or uh, whatever is there inside that should remain safe so how his young wife had loved it how he loved it means she loved it very much she had borne it for many years and then had left it to her granddaughter jenny you remember that jenny's grandmother gave those bees to her on her 12th birthday if you remember when she died last year she had said let little jenny have my amber beads and keep them as long as she lives means forever she should keep those beads with her but what puzzled jenny was how the amber came to be on the seashore and most of all how the bees and mosses were frozen inside it so she looked it up in a book so there were two things which were puzzling jenny or she was confused about those two things were first thing that how the amber came to be on the seashore and second how the bees and mosses were frozen inside it so what she did she started looking for it into a book jenny read that 
long before any humans appeared on earth the scottish highlands were covered with forests so long before long ago when there were no human beings in the so these scottish highlands where jenny was living these were covered with forest there were oaks all these are the different types of trees poplars beeches and pines among them was one kind of pine tall and stately from which a shining yellow gum float out so now that was a special tree that was a special pine tree which was tall and stately and from that tree a shining yellow gum float out as rubber plant gives rubber the uh, some type of uh, glue gum comes out and from that the rubber is made that is known as rubber plant same like that there was a pine tree from where the shining yellow gum it flowed out this beautiful yellow gum was fragrant it was having good smell thousands of little insects fluttered about it in the warm sunshine so because they were attracted it is already told that it was attractive it attracted insects just like magnet and it was fragrant also so thousands of little insects fluttered about it in the warm sunshine they were attracted by its pleasant smell and also by its taste smell and taste once they alighted upon it landed upon it alighted means landed once they landed upon it they stuck to it fast and could not get away it was sticky also so while they landed on it once they could not come out of it the great yellow drops oozing out surrounded and at last covered them entirely so when because they um, uh, they were stick to that um, gum which was coming out and uh, slowly and slowly the drops which were coming out from that plant they surrounded them completely so wind wind blown uh, bits of moss leaves a corn corn and little sticks too were soon stuck in the fast flowing gum just like insects the other things also got stuck into that flowing gum as time went by the gum hardened more and more and became amber so this is how you have come to know this is how the amber came into existence and the second uh, um jenny has got the answer of second question a also that how the bees and mosses were frozen inside it so i'm concluding here we will continue in the next video